Hello and welcome to Fenextry TV. We're in Stockholm for Next Gen Nordic's P27 Momentum, the first in a series of events that will be shaping the P27 Nordic payments journey. We've set out to provide a hub for cross-industry, Nordic-wide information and exchange, as well as a platform for collaboration and participation. We'll be hearing from a range of speakers as they address the aims and objectives of the initiative, what we can expect from 2020, and I'll also be asking delegates for their key takeaways from the event and what's brought them here today. So let's see what they have to say. So for me, it's actually a fantastic opportunity to come back and see what's been going on in Sweden, Norway, Denmark and Finland. It's fantastic to see all the stakeholders involved in a room together, actually debating and having a dialogue about what does this really mean? I'm really hoping to learn a lot about the community's expectations as well as ambitions that goes on top of what we think is the future payment platform, the first in the world. And I think this is actually kicking off the payment Nordic ecosystem, having everyone here today. Today is all about engagement uh, with the right people at the right level of uh, banks in the region to make sure we're successful in taking our ideas forward with them. The banks, the fintechs, you know, everyone's here to understand what the P27's ultimate architecture is going to look like and how they can then take that forward and actually use it in the wider ecosystem. The main aims and objectives of P27 is to build the world's first multi-currency uh, cross-border clearing platform. And that will enable true instant payments also across border. It will uh, improve the efficiency, take down barriers uh, between the countries. At the moment we've got a combination of old and new that meets and it's not satisfactory. So knocking down the borders are enabling cross-border multi-currency capability. Fantastic objective. It will also improve the security in the platform to future-proof it against some of the most important threats that we have today in a digitalized uh, society. So we think that building on the ecosystem that will form around P27, that will unleash a new wave of innovation in the Nordics. The main benefit is actually increasing the competition on the market, which would hopefully lead to better services for both the consumer, the end consumer and the businesses. If we can integrate one place in, instead of nine different places in the Nordics and get access, if you have very good services, to 27 million people, you know, that is huge. Although for the, especially the corporates, I would say also to be able to do trade and ease of payments cross-border will be the, the main benefits. I think the complexities will come when you start building in additional players to that mix. So additional banks from the different markets, and then we bring in the, the, the cross-currency aspect as well. There'll be certain co complexities there. We need to rationalise the whole thing down to one infrastructure or capability across the whole space. That is not straightforward at all. There have to be some pretty rough and difficult choices made as to what to throw away what to retain. I think if we've got the confidence to lift and throw away a lot of that legacy and start all over again, that would be fantastic. I think we need to be a bit more realistic about it though. How do we get collaboration between the countries, not only when it comes to the banking industry, but also the regulators and the authorities on how do we collaborate to create an efficient and secure clearing and settlement network? 2020 for P27 is going to be a really interesting year. We hope to get our clearing licenses done, to have our products uh, prepared, to have a collaborative effort with the banks so that we can launch the first product very early 2021. I believe in a 2020 perspective we will still be sort of in the old infrastructures etc. when you look at the, the roadmap for P27. But still instant is also a growing thing in the, the local infrastructures already. So I do believe we will have more speed, more requirement in that direction already. I think from 2020 we will see an increased engagement from the banks. So not we are starting with Sweden, but through 2020 we will get to Denmark and Finland as well. So we will have front runner banks in, in all countries by 2020 running the implementation. And in 2021 we will see the first transactions actually go live. It's good to see that the P27 are putting themselves forward as an entity that can bring together and collaborate with the entire uh, Nordic banks and ecosystem. That's something that's kind of rare. 
My key takeaways are that I believe that this is actually going to happen. Uh, P27, I hope, will become a reality. I do see it as the future way of handling this new development within the instant world, the digitization, the consumer needs and requirements. The power of networking, which I think P27 as well as the MPC, and the payments uh, structure and what we're doing in Nordics has been ever, ever proving once again the importance of networking and collaboration and doing things together. Another dimension is I think we see quite a huge interest in P27 and, and actually understanding how this will be executed, right? So really the how and the roadmap etc is what has people's interest and what has been discussed a lot today. The key takeaway for me today really has been uh, people sharing their views, sharing their enthusiasm for the project, uh, but also uh, really surfacing some of those questions. You know, how are we going to do this? Who's involved? Are the right parties in the room? Uh, are we doing the right things? How much work do we have to do? Because genuinely a lot of people are trying to figure out the impact for their organizations. The healthy debate, I think it is continuing this momentum concept and, and also really we are now working on this, so it is all about action and what are we going to do next year. As we come to the end of the event, it's clear this world-first integrated clearing platform has sparked much interest and debate. We've learned about some of the complexities that still surround P27 and the general consensus is there's still a way to go, but we've also learned about the benefits and opportunities it presents and some of the exciting developments we can expect from 2020. The scene has been set for B27 and we look forward to seeing you next year.